All right, so I had to address this. I know a lot of people are not going to address stuff like this, but I think it's needed. It's just too much hate going on in the producer community. You're not going to go far hating. It's just not going to happen. Stop the hate. Bolo! All right, before we get started, make sure you guys subscribe and make sure you guys comment and please turn on that post notification bell so you will know the next time I have another video available. And at the end of this video, if you like it, hit that thumbs up. If you do not like this type of content, hit that thumbs down. Let me know how you guys feel. And you know, I really don't care. So yes, I am addressing the elephant in the room and that is the hate some of you guys have for fellow producers. Sad, man. It is sad. It's one thing to critique somebody, but it's really sad to just straight up hate on other producers. You're not gonna get far that way. I don't understand why people like to hate on people so bad. And really and truly, the people that are doing the hate are the people that are not that talented at all. Now, if you wanna give like a good critique to somebody and say, hey bro, I'm not really feeling that a little bit, but I think you might need to change this or change that, that's cool. But to just be a straight up hater, Come on, man, that's that's not gonna work. And it happens on every level of the music game, not just from the lower level or even the middle tier. It's all the way up to the top tier. I've seen it all. I've seen people who are like best friends. Dude might walk into the studio, play some beats, everybody's bopping their head. And as soon as that person may leave or something like that, the hate begins. Incredible. And I don't know why people do it. I don't know if it's like an internal thing or is it like something that tries to boost the ego or something, but I don't understand it because for you to put that much into hating on somebody, to put that type of energy into hating on somebody, that's sad. When you can be putting that energy into helping that person. Now, I know for a fact that there's a lot of haters because I can just look right here in the comment section and I can see a lot of hate just on what I might do as a producer trying to help you guys out or just explaining a few things to try to give knowledge. But then people will come in the comment section hate because I'm trying to give knowledge. That's crazy. Like I'm giving first hand experience to a lot of new producers, new writers, artists and everything to tell you my experiences in the music game. Nothing sugar coated. I'm trying to be for real as possible so you guys can understand what type of things go on or I'm trying to be as real as possible when I do my beats and I try to do tutorials and stuff like that, but people somehow will come on here and hate. And those are the ones who are the most miserable people because only miserable people hate on other people. Miserable producers hate on other producers because number one, they're probably not putting in the work Number two, they're not as talented, or maybe they were just born like that. I don't know, I don't know. But we gotta stop that. As producers, we all need to bring each other up because there is so much money out here to be made. There's so many different opportunities out here to be made than for you to be hating on the next producer. Now you guys know, and some of you guys have seen firsthand, when you send me beats or if you send me a link, which I'd rather have you guys send me a link because my email is almost full right now because you guys send so many beats. But when you guys usually send me a beat pack or beat CD or whatever, I will listen to it. I just recently went to Florida last week. Like maybe 15 of you guys sent me y'all beat tapes. I listened to every single song on those beat tapes and I actually told you guys what songs I like, you know, which, which beat I like. And I gave you my honest opinion. Some of the beats weren't as good as I would like them to be, but it wasn't like, oh man, your whole beat tape is trash. No, it's not. Because I believe that every beat has a silver lining in it. I believe every beat has that one sound or that one thing that just makes it special. I believe every beat, if it's written to properly and it's presented properly, can be somewhat of a good record. Well, now let, let me take that back. Let me take that back. Not, not all of them, but I believe at least 80% of the beats I get can be used in some way, shape, form, or fashion. Now, it could be a beat that just might need a few more elements, or it could be something that may need to be stripped down. I'm gonna give you guys my honest opinion, and it's not gonna be in a hating way. It's gonna be in a way to where I critique it, you know, my own critique, 
my critique out of 7 billion people in this world, just mine, doesn't mean that your beat is bad, doesn't mean that it's exceptionally great, it's just my own critique and my own opinion. So it doesn't really matter in the grand scheme of things because it's what the people want. And if the people want it, my critique could be off. But with me having some sort of experience in music and being around so many different beats and stuff every day, I can kind of tell you which ones are gonna kind of make it, maybe. You know, sometimes I'm off. But it's not never in a hating way. And I will tell you guys, when y'all send me your beats and stuff over, hey, I like this beat, or I like this, or you might need to change up this to kind of make it compete a little bit better, or you might need to mix it just a little bit better. I can hear it, but maybe you might need to add different drums or do this and do that. And if you guys ask me a question back, I usually respond back to the response. And I love it because we can all prosper and all make money in this music business if we could just all come together and just stop with all of the hate. It's incredible that people are still doing that <laughs> at this day and age. Because right now with the internet and everything going on, everybody can be a superstar. Everybody can be huge. Everybody can be great. And you can be great too, even if you are a hater. So yeah, don't do that. If you're a producer and you might be around other producers, show them some love. Even if they might not be as good as you are, or you might feel they're not as good as you are, still show them some love anyway. And instead of hating on them, how about you go do a collab with them? How about some of you guys link up in the comment section and y'all start doing collabs, beat collabs. Leave your YouTube links in the comment section so everybody can check it out. Or hit me up in my email right here in the comment section. Go ahead and, you know, leave me a link. Do not leave me any MP3s. Do not leave me no albums. Like, I'm. this is strictly for producers. Artists, I know you guys rapping all that stuff, but I don't want to hear none of your albums. I want to hear beats. I want to hear beats. And if your beat is good enough, I'm going to try to send it off to somebody. I'm going to try to get a place for you and we can work out everything else in the back end. It's all good. But I want to hear you guys. I want to see you guys in the comment section linking up with other producers. And I want to see you guys come together, collab, critique each other's stuff, and to really be a community of producers that really have respect for each other. That's my ultimate goal on here. I'm gonna get back to doing tutorials and stuff like that. But as of right now, I'm here to motivate you guys to become better. And even the guys who are haters out here, I'm here to motivate you guys to work harder and stop hating and just really do your thing with other producers and find a way to come up in this producer game. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Hope you guys learned something from it. And like I always say, peace out.